Hello and welcome. My name is Lee and this is Cooking Keto with Lee. Today I'm going to show you how to make a plate full of these thick fudgy brownies. And as you can see, I don't believe in tiny desserts. But that's okay because each one of these hefty, tempting brownies is only six carbs. Are you ready? Let me show you how to make them. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and line an 8x8 baking pan with parchment paper. Add 2 thirds a cup of melted butter to a large bowl. Crack 4 large eggs into the bowl. Add in 1 half tablespoon of vanilla and a teaspoon of instant coffee. Using an electric mixer, beat well to combine. Using a fine mesh strainer, sift in a half cup of granular erythritol into the bowl and mix again. Sift in a third a cup of cocoa powder. and one and one-third cups of almond flour. Add in an eighth a teaspoon of salt. Using a rubber spatula, gently fold the cocoa powder and almond flour into the batter. This will keep them both in the bowl when we use the electric mixer again in the next step. Using a slow speed, mix the batter with the electric mixer until you have a uniformed, thick batter. Scrape down the sides of the bowl and transfer the batter into the prepared baking pan. Using the back of a spoon, spread the batter evenly across the bottom of the pan, paying special attention to the edges and the corners. Bake in the center of the preheated oven for about 25 minutes or until a toothpick inserted near the center just comes out clean. Cool completely. Once the brownies are cool, use the parchment paper to lift them out of the pan and onto a cutting board. Peel the paper from the edges, then carefully invert the cake onto your hand. Use your other hand to remove the rest of the paper. Place the brownies back down onto the cutting board and cut them into nine even pieces. To do this, first carefully cut the brownies into thirds. Then turn the entire board 90 degrees and cut in thirds again. This should result in nine equal large brownies. These large fudgy brownies are so good you may want to make a double batch so you don't have to hide them from the kids. Enjoy one anytime you're in the mood for a satisfyingly chocolate dessert. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, it would mean so much to me if you'd give me a thumbs up. As always, please feel free to reach out to me with any thoughts, opinions, or ideas in the comments below. And remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll always be up to date on my latest recipes. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.